Okay. Right. Friends, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning back in. A pleasure to have you back again. Now today we're on CCTV. We don't do a huge amount of it. We're doing more of it in the future as you will see as time goes on. The client here wanted just something which wasn't Hick Vision price, but not the bottom end of the pile either. So we settled for Rio Link. These are 4K. These ones, this was actually an older system. These are the five megapixel cameras. I mean, you can get these in two megapixel. If you would set up a two meg camera and a 4K camera next to each other, during the day, you really wouldn't notice the difference. It, the difference really comes at nighttime. Or if you want to zoom in, that's where the difference becomes apparent. So that's what we're fitting. So you're going to see those coming up and we'll do a little bit of Cat6 terminating as well. These are PoE. I think PoE is just the way forward. So you can use the BNC connectors. You can still buy systems which use BNC, but I just think PoE, it just, when you weigh it up on balance, I think it's just the way forwards now. And it's super fast. You terminate the end of your Cat6, click, click, and it comes straight up, that's it. So it's super simple to install as well. You haven't seen this place. This is a sushi, it was a sushi company that is taking over this unit. You haven't seen it yet. In fact, if you look out here, you will remember it. It's the place we were here. It's a couple of weeks ago we were here. We're all here today, the whole team. We, we've been in turns fitting cameras between other jobs, but I'll show you how far we've got. Ah, that is literally one that Joe has just finished fitting now. These were the eight megapixel ones, 4K. And meanwhile, James is still trying to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> this electronic lock. These power supplies, there's a brand called Apote, Upote or something they're called. Those are excellent and they really are superb. They are fantastic because you've got all of the, you've got all of the abilities which you would need. You've got push, ground, plus, you know, you've got all of the, all of the things you would want on a door entry system. But this thing, I don't know, yeah, that came with it. And it don't even work. But I ordered a new one. It should have been here today, but it hasn't turned up yet. James is very persistent now, I give him that. <laughs> okay. They haven't run any tray in for any cables that are above the ceiling. I'm going to sort of follow suit with the way they've done it, but instead I'm going to use stainless steel ties. Because you've got these steel tie, the steel supports from the, from the girders above. And these purple ones are the ones we've just run in. So I'm just going to zip tie these to these steel supports just so there's a bit of a some sort of fire fix. See, I'm not running a dedicated tray in. We're using Cat6 here. Now you don't have to use Cat6, you can, to be honest. Most of these kits that you buy, they just come with Cat5e. You don't really need to use Cat6. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, I should be running Cat7 by now. It's bollocks, okay. The difference between Cat5e and Cat6, the difference in cost, it really is negligible. It's like 30 quid a drum. So for the sake of 30 quid over like 305 meters, it just fit Cat6. So, and it is a better, it is better, but for things like CCTV, you really don't need to go overboard. This system we're fitting here, this is one of the cables that's got to go down to the front door, which you'll see in a minute. Back on planet Earth. If I stick my hand up far enough, this is when Boris, with his nine eyes and his 16 legs, comes out to say hello. You watch me get off this ladder and run a fucking mile. No, I'm not going to be able to reach that, mate. Let's try this. Commando maneuver, but I'll give it a go. Yeah, don't, don't tap too hard. We don't want to, we don't want to wake up the, the guests. Tied on. If you try that, yeah, it might just have to be a bit brutal. <laughs> see, not a lover of spiders either. All right, okay. When we get to lofts, we'll have to pull straws and see who's his shortest. Honestly, you'd think he's paid by the hour, wouldn't you? All right, that's one done. Fabulous. Yeah, these little hole saws are good. These little small ones. I mean, I use the Bosch Progressor ones, the big ones, but for little stuff like this, these are ever so good, these little ones. If you just get a bit of one mil or something and just put the camera on, feed the cables down, I can reach it and we can just tie on that way. I'm a lanky bastard, mate, but not that lanky. I mean, I can reach a fair way in. Yeah, 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 I can reach that. Yeah, problem is we've got this roller door in the way and you can't drill through the door, so you've got to go around it. Yeah, this is a good little bit. This is actually James's, not mine. Nay used to have one of these, Nipex cable stripper. I had one and then I just, I got rid of it because I never, I, I just couldn't get on with it. But this one is awesome. You can strip anything, but this flex anything really, can't you? You just close it like that, twist, <laughs> and that's it. That is awesome. It's just super fast rather than you see some people using a pair of snips to go around and then strip it like that. That's much easier. These bits of kit are quite good. These CCTV testers and you can do quite a lot on them. You can test your RJ45 connections and stuff. You just 
plug it in and it'll bring up. It's quite cool actually, it also tells you how long the length is. So this, this length here was uh, th just over 30 meters. This one's a bit of an all singing, all dancing one. And I actually don't, to be, I don't use half the functions on it, but it is good if you're doing stuff like, um, let's say a client calls you out, uh, CCTV, one of the cameras has gone down somewhere outside a building or inside or whatever. The idea is you can just plug straight in and it'll just bring up the image of that camera. The idea is you can just hop up a ladder, click, click. Yeah, that camera's working. You know, so it's not the fault with the camera, it's cabling or NVR something. But it's just good if you just want a quick, um, a quick visual confirmation that the cameras are working. But also one of the handy things about it is it brings up the power display because you could, it gives you the 12 volt port there so you can plug in. Um, and it'll just tell you how many watts the camera's drawing. It'll tell you, you know, it, just, it gives you all the data, which is just handy when you're up a ladder trying to, trying to do fault finding on CCTV. These are good bits of kit. And probably the best bit is the cable tracer, the toner, um, because you can use, so you can use this when you're trying to find cables amongst lots and lots of, when you've got a bunch of uh, Cat6 cables or something, it's good for that. And it just connects to this. So it, it's just good for this sort of stuff. Um, if you're doing CCTV regularly, you'll, you'll see most installers will carry something, maybe not this exact one, but something similar to it. Uh, but they're very, very good. I definitely recommend them. This is the advantage of when there's two of you pulling cabling. Yeah, okay. So they want one extra camera, they've decided. Somewhere here, I think in the corner, just to look at the door, which is right behind the camera guy there. Don't think it makes any difference there, there somewhere. Right, we haven't done doing it with Tom for a while. So uh, yeah, this is, I don't know, we, I can't even remember what episode we're on. Uh, episode 10, maybe, I don't know. Episode 10 of doing it with Tom. Doing it with Tom. So. You grab one of these little Nipex things, pop it on your cable, twist, twist, pull, and you get that inner sheath, the foil sheathing. You wanna take that, peel it back, just tears off, and then inside, you'll see your four cores, untangle them, and just straighten them all out. Now you'll notice, sometimes you'll get a plastic center core, and other times you'll get a, a, a fine metal core, and we've got a metal core, an aluminum core. So you just cut that, and all it is, it's just for the, it's just for strength inside the cable. If you're doing things like long runs in data rises, like you know dry rises and stuff, anything like that, it's just used to give the cable a bit of strength. Once you've done that, you've got all of your cords splayed out like so. You then need to get them all in the right order. So how we do that is as follows: you start with orange, striped orange, and then you have your full orange and solid blue, and it's basically a question of trying to get the cores neatly splayed around each other so you get them all sitting in a line next to each other and it does take practice if you, you know, if you're in college or something you're practicing this and you can't do it on your first attempt honestly don't panic it it does take time to it's one of those things once you've done it a couple of times you slowly start to get the hang of it but none of these things are instant you don't learn them overnight so if you if you do this and you balls it up the first 10 times don't don't sweat it, it's just something that will come with practice. And I'm not, I'm by no means like a you know, full on expert at this. I mean, I've just, this is actually James's tool, very, very good, but I'm not an expert. I mean, this, this is just something I'm showing you here today. I certainly don't profess to be an absolute wizard data. So you basically end up having something that looks like that. So all of your, all of your cores are all neatly in a line. It's just a question of just splaying them out nice and neatly and you get something that looks like that, okay? Now I'm using the RJ45 through plugs and these are exactly the same as standard plugs. The only real difference is that you've got eight little holes at the very end. That's the only difference and it just means that the cores push through, which I'll demonstrate now. Cut the end nice and clean, and take your plug and that's what happens there. It just pushes through like so, voila, something like that. And it just makes life a lot easier. You can just get a really neat finish. And then you take your, your punch down tool, compression tool, whatever you want to call it and push it into the tool like so and then just that's it release and that's it voila yeah this is the great thing about poe like this you just click click done that's it that camera will now come up on the nvr upstairs which is why i like them i mean you can still use the analog bnc stuff but i just think this you know PoE just it outweighs it outweighs it by a mile.
square is about right. I think it's more about there. Somewhere there, you think? We're going to say about there. That about looks right to me. Right, people, that is pretty much the installation in. And that is all we've got time for this week. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, all my links come out on the screen now. And feel free to subscribe. It's somewhere down here. Other than that, we'll see you in a week's time.